This is Nokia's 808 PureView, and it came from the future. Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to The Flashback, a series that's meant to capture a moment of mobile history. And what better way to capture a moment than to snap a perfect picture? Smile. At different points in its history, Nokia has had the best selling phone, the best business phone, the best gaming phone, the best camera phone, and the best smartphone. At one particular time, they even had all of the above in one go. Yeah, they were that good. The Nokia 808 PureView stunned the world in early 2012 with its insane 41 megapixel sensor. Before it arrived to the scene, the highest resolution smartphone sensor was only 13 megapixels. Actually, the 41 megapixel resolution remained the highest to be used in a camera phone until January 2019. Meanwhile, the 808 held a record for the largest image sensor ever in a phone until the arrival of Xiaomi's Mi 11 Ultra. It was first unveiled in February 2012 at the MWC, where the 808 won the award for Best New Mobile Handset, Device, or Tablet, and the award for Best Imaging Innovation. Plus, it earned a gold award by Digital Photography Review. The camera setup on this phone was unimaginable at that time. The camera featured a bright f2.4 aperture and an ND filter to reduce light and bright scenes because the max shutter speed was limited by the mechanical shutter. It's not just the megapixel count that made the Nokia 808 truly a glimpse of the future. The PureView's pixels were suitably large too. It was also the first smartphone to feature Nokia's PureView Pro technology. It used pixel binning before it was cool to produce 5 megapixel or 8 megapixel images by default, combining several sensor pixels into one image pixel and increasing the image quality in the process. Today's high resolution sensors also lean on pixel binning to boost their image quality, but those are generally quad bare or tetracell sensors, while the Nokia used a traditional bare filter, meaning it collected more color information with each pixel. Something else that's interesting about this image sensor is that instead of being optimized for either 4x3 or 16x9 aspect ratios, it sat between the two, meaning that it worked equally well for photos and videos. Another feature ahead of its time was the lossless digital zoom. With no zoom applied, seven sensor pixels were combined into one image pixel, resulting in a 5 megapixel photo. When you start zooming, fewer and fewer pixels are combined, until it's one to one, a 5 megapixel crop from the whole sensor. This allowed you to zoom in or out and even reframe the shot after it's been taken with no loss in quality. Nokia was also clever in how it processed the raw data to create the final 5 megapixel image. It worked non-destructively, saving the full sensor output. The result was great, quality 3x zoom for 5 megapixel photos and 4x for 1080p videos. It wasn't just about imaging. Videos recorded with the PureView had audio that could rival semi-pro hardware. Nokia's rich recording could handle loudness up to 145 decibels, enough for a loud concert or some other noisy situation. Until the 808, Nokia's smartphone OS had faded into the background of the smartphone scene, but it appeared it had finally caught up to the competition here, with the renamed Bell and its feature pack 1. You get up to 6 home screens, and each home screen has its own individual wallpaper, rather than one for all to share. The scrolling of home screen panels is looped, so you never need to go back from the last one, and auto rotation of the home screen is enabled too. The Nokia 808 PureView had an impressive set of connectivity options. It was a true worldwide ready phone. It supported even NFC, which was new at the time and just gaining traction. It also included Bluetooth 3.0 and a micro HDMI port that enabled an output of 1080p video with multi-channel audio. Of course, it wasn't all roses and rainbows for the 808. Even though it had improved, the Symbian ecosystem lacked behind Android and iOS, and the phone itself was quite bulky and heavy. But with this phone, the fin sparked people's curiosity to a whole new level, and we were impressed by the quality of their work too. In our review, we named the 808 the most impressive camera phone we've ever seen, and it's definitely refreshing to revisit our words and find that we still stand by them. The handset sold 2.2 million units in the first year of its release. We also predicted that the Nokia 808 PureView would have a prominent place in the Nokia Hall of Fame, and we were right about that as well, but not for the reasons you'd expect. 
The 808 PureView was the very last device that the company would make on the Symbian platform before it moved on to Windows phones. Then it took another six years for smartphone cameras by other manufacturers to catch up to the Nokia 808 PureView. And these days, the new models are undoubtedly better, with new tricks like one-shot HDR and image stacking enabled by the much faster image processors. But still, the 808 was just so different from everything else around it that it set the bar high for everyone in the industry. It was so ahead of its time that it felt like a gadget brought along by a time traveler from the future. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.